Happy Holidays! I'm Michael Krulik, video product evangelist for Avid, and it's time to wrap up an interesting year, but even better, it's time to unwrap the latest features of Avid Media Composer 2020.12. Many new enhancements have been added to the new user interface to let you control the brightness levels of your bins relating to the text and highlights for a more comfortable visual experience. While I'm showing the interface settings, let me point out that you can set a specific color to customize the background in your Source and Record viewer. Since you're not locked to a formatted size in the viewer, having the ability to change the background color will let you see your boundaries when you view any masks that you may have applied. You can also choose to have your timeline background color to be the pure color that you've selected or choose to have it blended based on the interface skin that you've chosen. You have always been able to move clips to an open bin or to a bins tab, but in 2020.12, you can also drag clips from a bin to an open bin in your bin or project sidebar. As you drag your clips or media from a bin to the sidebar, the highlight will identify the selected bin where you can drop your selection. And speaking of your bins, You'll find that you can now map your bin fast menu commands to buttons on your keyboard. So tools like committing multicam edits and displaying your bin map are just a customizable keystroke away. Adding to customizing and controls in the bin and project sidebar, as you color your bins, you'll notice that the colors are now visible in the project and bin sidebar. You now have a way to view and sort your bins by those colors, selecting an item in the column, right-clicking and choosing to sort in an ascending or descending order. And you can use this same sorting mechanism in all of the columns in your sidebars. Now, if you have folders full of bins, the bins will be sorted within their designated folders as well. Just a side note, if you don't see your project sidebar, you do have to add it to your workspace from the Tools menu. The new Media Composer UI introduced the idea of docked or floating panels that can be customized to your workspaces. But you were limited to docking panels to the docked or locked panels, but now you can dock to floating panels as well. So you could have a floating panel or set of tools specific to audio, you could have your sequences and markers in a floating panel, or scripts in the inspector tools. You design what you want to customize and then save it into a new workspace. Just in time for the holidays is the ability to link to H.265 or HEVC Media. So if you forgot to switch that video setting on your mobile device from high efficiency to most compatible, or if you are looking to link to any H.265 media that your production team has given you, we have you covered. How many times do you have to re-import mat keys to your projects? Well, happy holidays! In the new version of Media Composer, you can now transcode imported mat keys and static classic titles into your projects, even cross frame rates. Creating turnovers is essential in post production, and in Media Composer 2020.12, we've added a feature to help reduce the human error of hand picking files for delivery or turnovers to different locations. In the Export AAF menu options, you can checkbox the Ask to exclude video media from a previous sequence, and upon execution, you'll be prompted to select the sequence referenced for the excluded media. This new feature lets you compare two sequences and export only the media differences between the two. Enhancements have also been added to the Avid Titler Plus, with the addition of keyboard shortcuts, and you'll find that there are now two modes, text and move, to make it easier when creating or editing your titles. You can select the actual mode or hit T or M on your keyboard. Use text mode to type your titles, and once you click off of the title, you're set to move mode instantly to let you manipulate the position of the text box. Now if you're in move mode and double click on text, you will be in text mode to be able to make changes to the actual text. Scaling or changing aspect ratio of your text used to happen accidentally, but notice if you have a text box selected, you only get sizing points at every corner. Now if you want to change the aspect ratio of the text, hold down the shift key and you'll see you get additional points to change the aspect ratio as well.
You'll see a few new justification buttons in the mini menu to vertically align your text to the screen. And the effect editor offers you a series of justification options for the selected line of text or the bounding box, giving you more control. For titles using fonts from countries that require text designed from top to bottom or right to left, you have a setting for that in the effect editor too. And when creating rolls or crawls, the addition of the scroll bar makes it easier to edit, view, and manipulate your moving titles. A lot of work continues to be done with ACES or the Academy Color Encoding System in that we support an ACES workflow and full 32-bit float throughout the entire editorial process in Media Composer. The latest addition to working with ACES is that you can now apply the transform specified in a .clf or common LUT format to your media. This provides more functionality and function to make Media Composer ACES compliant. Keeping with the holiday theme and delivering presents, or presenting deliverables in this case, we've enhanced the options when it comes to exporting your final output. From the export menu, you can select to export to an MOV, MP4, or OpenEXR format, choosing from a set of new color space options. And we've also added the ability to export your audio using AAC, or the Advanced Audio Coding Format, for MOV or MP4 files, with sampling rates up to 96,000 Hz and bit rates up to 320 kilobits per second. Remember that we support linking to H.265 Media? Well, you can also export your projects directly out of Media Composer 2020.12 using the H.265 codec. And last but not least, we've made some significant updates to the audio mixer in Media Composer. The mixer has been updated to match the new Media Composer skin and will let you see the colors of your audio tracks in the audio mixer and in the audio group sidebar. You can copy, paste, and duplicate your plugins to other audio tracks or effect slots. You also have many options in the audio mixer fast menus that can now be mapped to a keyboard shortcut. And as you add tracks to the mix, the master fader will always remain present no matter how many audio tracks you add. A couple of other nice additions to the audio mixer include a bypass volume button, and that the record button is only displayed when you are in auto mode in the mixer. And watch this. As you change the size of the audio mixer, the panel is dynamically responsive, and your tracks and controls will expand and contract depending on the size and position of the mixer. To accommodate for the change of mixer size, panning control, tracks, or plugins may hide to make room for the mixer. You have control of the priority of what is more important to remain visible when you are resizing the mixer. Selecting the display visibility priority option in the audio mixer fast menu allows you to drag the options and change the visibility priority that you want. Or you could disable the option altogether. All of these features and more, including the ability to reveal the user profile at the OS level so you can back it up or make a copy of it. You also have the ability to turn off phrase find and script sync when using the customizable Media Composer Enterprise platform. And we've added language support for Indonesian, Dutch, Tagalog, and Swedish to our phonetic indexing used for phrase find and script sync. So a lot of great features wrapped up and packed in this version of Avid Media Composer 2020.12. Thank you so much for your time and talent. Stay safe, be well, and have a very happy holiday.